Alright, g'day everyone, Matt from Panda Garage here today with a video that I didn't want to make. This was something that I just did not want to um, address at the time. It's taken a little while to get this going because there's been some bits and pieces, some back and forth. But what we actually have here is um, a part that has completely failed on me and it's this, it's the throttle out of the Jeep. That's why you've seen it here in the background of most of my videos of recent time. Um, it turns out that this throttle body had completely carked itself only after a few months. It literally, the motor's gone in it, you can pretty much open this throttle all by yourself and it shouldn't do that. It should be sling back, should be going back to its normal position, but it's not. So, don't know what's going on with that. So what I had to do is that we had a bunch of talks with the people who made it or who I bought it from. And they didn't want a bar of it. They kept changing their how their um, warranty went. I was hoping to give them the benefit of the doubt that they might have actually addressed it and fixed it, but they didn't. Uh, and they kept changing their policy as well, even if I showed them screenshots of their own website. So uh, that sort of fell through. So I will be taking that up with eBay, I think. Um, so I went with a different company and it is over here. It pretty much looks the same. I mean, all these parts look the same, but this is a brand new throttle body from a different company. Um, and this one sort of looks a little bit more legit, which is good. Uh, looks like they've actually put the time and effort into this. And it does, wait, the motor slings back into place. So I'm gonna get this installed in today. So join me as we try and get the Jeep back on the road because it is covered in dust and I want it out of this garage. So welcome to Panda Garage. Let's get this Jeep back on the road. So how this went last time is that um, you would have seen it in previous videos so if you do want to know exactly how to install these um, please go check that out uh, it's down here it's held on with four of these bolts um, they just slide into We'll use the old one as an example. They just slide into these bolt holes there. You can see one, two, three, four. Actually, maybe if I held it so you guys could actually see it. So there's four bolt holes here. So you've got these four on the corners. We'll all hold it in place. It sits in the engine bay sideways like that with this part sticking outward. Um, it just has your plug, which is like the sensor plug. Uh, to actually tell with a throttle where it is positioned and where it needs to be positioned. So I'm going to chuck the old one aside and we are going to get started on the one down there. So it will take me a bit of time. I might just, um, just shut the camera off for now um, and I'll update you guys when I've uh, got the part in. Right, so... Everything's back in. It's taking me a little bit longer than I thought because I sort of forgot how to put it all back together. But in saying that, we do have pretty much everything right to go. Just got to clip this back into place. Everything else is fine. Old ones over here acting like a piece of junk. I'll talk about that in a future video once I sort of figure out all that crap. But new parts in, pipes are connected. Engine's all back together. Now, we gotta go get the keys, and then we're gonna try and get this sucker to work. Hopefully it fires up straight away, and it runs properly. That's what I'm hoping. So this is where I'm hoping. Got the keys, gonna try and get this started. Hopefully it starts, because it was running like an absolute pig. Uh, didn't reveal all that, because I, I just did not want a bar of it. I just had enough. Um, that's also why I took the break as well, is that I just had a lot of things going wrong and this thing just wouldn't uh, let up. So I'm hoping that everything I've done now will fix the problem, um, that we've got a good part and we haven't got a dud that mechanically has failed and the bloody warranty, they wouldn't take it. Because that is garbage. That's completely garbage. It shouldn't do that. So um, that will come up in a future episode because I'd rather have had enough of them. Anyway. Going on about other stuff that's not important right now. We are going to start this up. And then the other thing I need to do is that we did the brakes and that in this. And you would have seen that in a previous video. 
And um, I've actually got to um, bleed the brakes a bit more because uh, it's going to the floor still. There's still air trapped, I think, between the, the actual master cylinder and the ABS. Um, we've just got to keep flushing it through until we get everything out. So uh, fingers crossed that will be our um, solution to that, but that will be in a future video. Uh, right now we're going to try and get this car started. Oops. Well, here's the thing to learn. Um, car's been sitting for a fair few weeks now and the battery has gone flat, so I'm going to jump it now and uh, we'll come back to this. Alright, jump pack enabled. I think I've got the battery terminals loose as on this as well. part of the, the grand scheme of things. So, this should be the maiden starter. There we are, we got success. All right, so I've turned this off just because I wanted to um, talk to you guys and also want to button up a few extra things I've just realized that are loose like the battery terminals, but that is an amazing success Just one little part can change everything when it comes to a car and this was running like an absolute pig beforehand Sort of similar to what happened the first time we did this so um This part failed us um, this part I just got is a completely different company um, And I'm hoping that that does the job so um, This was uh not too in detail, but it was something that I've been really needing to do and it's been driving me insane. It's been on my mind and it's given me um, restless nights knowing that this car's out here. Luckily for us, we've got a few extra cars that we can actually use. So um, that works out well in the end. But thank you all so much for watching. Um, appreciate everyone that subscribes to the channel. Um, if you've got a mate that loves this kind of stuff, that loves car stuff and would like to see um, get him to subscribe uh, if he wants to see some... Uh, some half decent content so um, remember check us out on Facebook and Instagram the Panda Garage for all your sort of weekly um, add-ons sometimes we have polls sometimes we have all sorts of stuff on there so um, chuck your what you'd like to see on the channel up there or chuck your ride up there there's just a thread I think on there at the moment that's um, got all the stuff about cars uh, about your cars and I love seeing those as well I love seeing what everyone has so um, till next time guys my name is Matt this is Panda Garage I'm going to junk this, I'm going to put it aside for now because I need it to, um, to have a decent chat to the people who made it and sold it to me. And um, I'm going to keep working on this and you'll see me next time um, in the next video we'll be working on the brakes and getting that all tidied up before my in-laws come because they've been away on a big holiday and they've been gone for weeks and I've done nothing to this car so um, leave it to the last minute which is um, seems to be a typical thing. So thank you all so much for watching. Till next time guys, my name's Matt, this is Panda Garage. See you all in the next video.